This is going to be a pretty hard video to watch. I mean, me doing the research for it was just equally as depressing. This isn't going to be a, you know, look at the funny goofball point and laugh haha -ha type video. If you want to watch something more lighthearted, feel free to go on any of my other videos or maybe watch a new YouTuber. For example, Mr. Beast Reacts and you can see what uh, sweatshirt Carl Jacobs is wearing. <laughs> Wait, okay, why was this guy recording himself with cracking eggs? Was he going for this? He knew. He knew. Double. Oh, he got the booby egg! That's the one obligatory joke I'm gonna make for this entire video. That's it. That's done because, like, w w what I'm talking about now, it it's pretty serious. Now, to get a ban on Twitch, there's usually one of two reasons. One, be a man and actually break TOS, the terms of service, or be a female and then there's probably a, a lower chance you actually get banned or your ban would be severely reduced in hours. Now, the ban on this Twitch streamer seems to be permanent, and that's insane because to get a permanent ban on Twitch, it's actually really, really hard to do. There's only a few people I can think of that have been banned permanently. For example, Minilad, Silka. They've had reasons, you know, externally on the site why their reputation was ruined, so Twitch didn't really want to associate with them. Now, the streamer in question ran over a dog. Um, there's nothing funny about it. It was just absolutely fucking horrible to witness. She was a Polish Twitch streamer, and when she ran over the dog, like, you can just hear it yelping and, and crying, and then the look on her face, she, she looks obviously mortified. Now, I do want to say this wasn't intentional. She's not some deranged serial killer like a female Patrick Bateman in, in the making, you know, stabbing the homeless in the street and starting off with animals. But she was checking her phone constantly while driving, which is kind of illegal. Also, just to point out as well on Twitch's TOS, that's actually illegal to do. So legally with the law it is, and Twitch are actually enforcing it as well. So that's like, you know, two strikes. Now, again, like I said, it wasn't intentional. She didn't mean to, but it was an avoidable situation. If she wasn't checking her phone every five seconds, there would have been a higher chance she would have seen the dog and not actually ran it over. Now, obviously that clip went viral. It was posted onto Livestream Fails, which is the subreddit that seems to collectively hate every single streamer that isn't XQC or Forzen. Uh, she had a couple thousand followers, but then Twitch stepped in and they banned her. Obviously, I don't have to be the one to say it, but like, imagine if that was like a child or an adult or, or someone elderly, like, you know, someone that wasn't a dog. I mean, a dog is horrible enough to run over, but like, imagine if that was an actual person. I feel because of the size of the dog, if she wasn't on her phone, she probably would have got a bit more sympathy. But again, checking it every five seconds, it, it's really hard to defend that. Now, this is where the story ends, but I did actually do a little bit of research. And on the Polish side of the internet, because, you know, the streamer was from Poland, this has blown up and there's been loads of coverage. And thankfully, I do want to say, thank God, the dog, somehow, it's okay. It survived. It did not sound like it was going to survive in the audio. You never saw the dog, but you heard that audio, but apparently he did. Now, when she did originally run over the dog, it wasn't like a Simpsons hit and run where she just kept driving. She did actually go outside to check on the dog. Then apparently in Polish, she said, Jesus, how many dogs are there? Almost like the dog inconvenienced her by being the equivalent of, of, of like a toddler speed bump. <laughs> but the thing is though, like after she said that, she just goes back to, you know, checking her phone anyway. You're probably wondering the proof of like, how is the dog alive? Because at the minute, a lot of people on Twitter are saying the dog's fine. It went to a vet and then they get asked for, you know, some, some sort of proof, some sort of source. They provide nothing. Oh, some Someone on Twitter said the dog's all right. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do any more research. I'm just going to throw that in the video. I would do that usually, by the way. I'm not saying I'm above other, like, daily uploading people. But there was one guy on Instagram called Sour De Watcher, something Polish. But he basically posted a couple stories talking about the incident with the animal and how the animal's okay. Przede wszystkim z nagrań wynika, że ten pies przeżył i nie wiem, kurwa, w jaki sposób, ale że podobno mu nawet nic nie dolega. Nie ma nawet żadnego złamania. No ale zacznijmy od początku. Dziewczyna yy, stara się skontaktować z właścicielami. Gdzie nie ma ich? Nie ma ich! Dobrze! Sąsiadka, yy, która widziała zajście, skontaktowała yy, tą dziewczynę z, z właścicielem tego psa. I ta dziewczyna dzwoniła do niej yy, na streamie do tego właściciela. Dzień dobry! Ja możliwe, że łapkę przejechałam jednemu z piesków, które były na drodze. Gdzieś próbowałam, ale państwa nie mam w domu, to też... No nie wiem, one też gdzieś uciekły, teraz nie wiem, gdzie one są nawet. Dobra. No ja najmocniej przepraszam, ale to niektóre ominęłam, a tego nie zauważyłam. Proszę się tam nim zająć, bo coś... No.
Nie wiem, czy to było słychać. Właściciel mówił, że zaraz przyjedzie jego córka, i bo go teraz nie ma w, miejsc, na te, w tym miejscu zamieszkania i y, żeby z córką się skontaktowała ta dziewczyna. No ona, prze, y, bo w związku z tym, że tej córki jeszcze nie ma, to ona jedzie dalej tam, gdzie miała jechać. No i teraz akurat pierdoli różne farmazony. Now, if you don't understand what he's saying, because he's speaking absolute moon runes, I, I completely agree with you, but I do actually have a Polish friend and he, you know, explained to me that supposedly the dog's alive and it's not injured. Uh, he himself can't believe it she claims this is the dog that she hit we've got like a you know a mug shot of the actual dog itself apparently there's a recording of the neighbor saying the dog is fine apparently the polish streamer that ran over the dog she also said like you know to the owners that i'm willing to pay any kind of costs or anything which is fair but but again like you know th th there's only so much aftercare you can do when this all could have been avoided if you didn't check your phone while driving the car like it it's not like it's just a twitch tos thing it is literally illegal i would be so shit scared of checking my phone and then something happens that I could have controlled. But yeah, like I said, this is basically all over the entire uh, Polish like internet sphere. It's good that the dog's okay though. I'm really happy about that because uh, I, I feel like I, I can make like a joke or two now and not go to hell when I die. I'm actually amazed that the dog survived that though. Uh, the clip itself is just, it, it, it's horrible to watch. You, you can find it. You can find it if, if you really need to, you know, satisfy your... I don't even know. Just, I would not watch the clip. If you're in a good mood today, somehow, even after watching this, I mean, to be fair, you kind of should be in a good mood, right? Because uh, I did open up. Everyone thought the animal died. Apparently it's alive. But then don't actually go and ruin that good mood by checking the clip out because it's, yeah, it, it, it just sucks. You, you don't even see the dog or anything. It's, it's just something horrible to listen to. But yeah, again, she tried as much as she could afterwards to kind of patch things up. Uh, again, the whole comment about like, I think she said afterwards, like, why is there so many dogs here? Is there one dog in heat? Again, it's almost like the animal has inconvenienced you, which, uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really rub me the right way there. Overall, though, this is probably the first example I've ever seen of the internet where, like, Poland has come together to collectively shit on a woman and be their own internet detectives. Like, I've seen so many places on, you know, Twitter, Reddit, where people, like, delve into people's personal history and stuff. Never have I seen it come from Poland. I looked at LSF, I looked at Twitter, I couldn't find anything. It was actually on Instagram where I found this guy's account because, you know, someone linked me it and I, I just watched some of his stories. But, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Poland, for apparently doing a better job than the police did. I do actually wonder if the police are going to get involved in this situation. Probably not, I imagine, you know, unless like the uh, the owners want to press charges or something. I just don't really see them being involved. The ban itself, I think it is permanent. I'm not too sure. I, I mean, there might be a chance that it's just like a suspended ban for maybe like a month or so. But again, she doesn't have that many followers. Therefore, she doesn't have that many connections at Twitch. Therefore, she's got less ropes to pull on. So probably not, honestly, because at this point, you know, Twitch or the websites like that, it really just depends on how many connections you have. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the whole story. I, I mean, I did open with a bit of a disclaimer. I made it sound a little bit morbid, but again, it's like, you know, some people just don't want to really talk about the uh, the topic of animal death or the possibility of animal death. But yeah, silver lining. Apparently the dog's all right. Uh, I'm probably going to keep checking on this story for a little bit more, but I think it's pretty much an open and shut case. Hopefully the dog's all right. Hopefully the woman feels like a complete piece of shit uh, for a good long while. But again, you know, if it survived, Happy days. Just, just don't check your phone when you drive, man. Jesus Christ. Like, okay, this is this is coming from a guy. I got my license like like four years ago. I can legally drive. I, I probably shouldn't. By the way, I probably shouldn't. I, I'm probably worse than a drunk driver because I just haven't drove for four years. I, I've got no muscle memory. I probably lost it all now. I probably don't even know how to like rev and change gears now. I'll probably just stall the car. But even I would know to be to not be on my phone. It, it is basic human decency to not be on your phone. Just, just get just get the earpiece thing that Saul Goodman has. There you go. Jesus, man. You can't keep getting away with it!